Two Washington men were severely injured by a dog attack earlier this week. WNCT's Tamara Scott sat down with one of those victims who says this is a day he will never forget. I remember the dog seeing the dog's mouth come to my face and he grabbed on. Charles Jackson had no idea coming home yeah, on Tuesday afternoon he would end up in the hospital. I said she could hear somebody screaming. So I come up to the front of the house and I look down the road and uh, over there in the yard saw the UPS man being attacked by four dogs. That's when Jackson jumped in to help save Ronald Robinson. But the only time I really did get scared was when I hit the ground I could feel that dog on my face. and. Uh, when I got up and saw all that blood rushing down my shirt and I'm sitting in the driver's seat in the UPS truck, I'm thinking I'm going to bleed out. Jackson is recovering from a severe J-shaped rip through his cheek. According to the police report, Robinson was treated for severe injuries to his legs. The dogs are being held in quarantine for 10 days. Animal Control Chief Billy Lassiter says situations like this are difficult and the dogs face a gray future. Going forward, if they're deemed as potentially dangerous, of the dogs that have to be microchipped. If they're ever out, they have to be accompanied by an adult at all times, uh, but they do have to be leashed and muzzled if they're allowed to get them back. Jackson says he's never had an issue with neighborhood dogs, but now he keeps an extra eye open. I've heard stories about this, but I realize what the people are talking about now because I've been through it. In Washington, Tamara Scott, nine on your side. Lasseter says if the dogs are released anywhere the owner takes them, they will have to notify animal control in that area.